Seattle is well known for its rain, for good reason. But Chicago has, on average, about the same amount of annual precipitation as Seattle. The biggest difference is our rain tends to come in short, intermittent bursts of heavy thunderstorms. Whereas in Seattle, they have more frequent, longer-lasting light rain. Today I'll talk about the impact our garden has had on what happens to all of that rain when it falls on our backyard. Years ago, our backyard would flood every time we had a heavy rain, which is fairly common in the spring and summer. But all that changed when we turned our lawn into a garden. Now we rarely see even a puddle of water. What made the difference? It was the addition of organic matter to the soil. Over the years, we've added hundreds of pounds of compost and mulch to the garden, which allowed us to fill in low areas where water accumulated. But more importantly, soil that is high in organic matter absorbs and holds much more water. To see the difference, we just have to look around the neighborhood. After a few days with heavy thunderstorms, this is what it looks like across the street right now. Water accumulates here in part because this is the lowest point in the yard. But what's remarkable is how long the water stays here. These ducks will have a nice pool of water to swim in for days. And this scene is fairly common around our neighborhood. Many yards have standing water and some are completely flooded. But here in the One Yard Revolution garden, there isn't even a puddle of water. Where I'm standing is the lowest spot in our yard, and the ground is quite soggy, but I don't think ducks will be stopping by any time soon for a swim, thanks to the high level of organic matter in the soil. So how much water does organic matter hold? What difference is it really making in our garden in terms of saving water? According to an article from Michigan State University, soil scientists report that for every 1% of organic matter content, the soil can hold 16,500 gallons of plant available water per acre of soil down to one foot depth. That's roughly 1.5 quarts of water per cubic foot of soil for each percent of organic matter. Our soil is 20% organic matter. So if I just do the math, that means our soil could hold as much as 30 quarts of water per cubic foot. Now I don't believe it actually holds quite that much because 30 quarts and one cubic foot are equivalent in terms of volume but I can be confident that our soil holds many quarts of water per cubic foot. So what does this mean for our garden? As I mentioned, we no longer have issues with flooding, which is great, but the biggest benefit is that more of the rain that falls on the property stays on the property. The soil absorbs and holds so much water that we don't have to water very often. Though we have to water containers more often, we sometimes go for several weeks, even a few months, without having to water the garden in summer. So the addition of compost and mulch saves us money and conserves a precious resource. Another big benefit is that much less water runs off of our property into the streets where it accumulates pollutants and washes them into local waterways. So adding compost and mulch to our soil not only provides our plants with the nutrients they need, it also increases the water holding capacity of the soil and thereby saves us time, money, water, and reduces pollution. And though we love to see ducks in the neighborhood, it also means our backyard won't turn into a duck pond after a heavy rain. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos on how to grow a lot of food on a little land without spending much or working harder than you have to.